Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how you can make any scene look really good without any expensive lighting. You could actually just use the practical lights around you. So obviously I'm in a hotel right now, I'm traveling, couldn't bring the lights with me. You know, you get on a plane, you can't bring all that heavy big equipment with you. So you just have to learn how to use the available light around you. So this scene I think looks pretty good. You know, I have a nice key light here on the side of my face, backlight, you know, the hair light, and then just another practical lamp behind me. When you get somewhere and you're not bringing your own lights, the light bulbs that are there are likely gonna be all different types. Sometimes you have LEDs, tungstens, fluorescents, all different kinds of lights mixing together. And sometimes that can make for a really ugly image. So first off, look at the lights and determine what color temperature they are. So I know that this, what I'm using for my key light was 4,100 Kelvin. And this backlight, the little hair light, is 3000 Kelvin, so it's much, much warmer. And then the lamp that I have back there is 4000 Kelvin. So it really is a mix. You can set the white balance in your camera somewhere in between possibly so that everything looks pretty good. Lighting is key. Almost always what is more important is not the camera and the lenses and what awesome equipment you have. You know, if you have a red camera or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You can make something look really epic just with your iPhone, but a lot of times it all depends on the lighting and composition. So I'm gonna pick up the camera right now and just show you guys simply how I set this up. First of all, what I've done is for the key light on me, I've actually turned these lamps, okay? Cause they were facing down, but what I've done is I've gone ahead and adjusted them to point straight at me. And if you're not thinking about lighting, you wouldn't have done something like that, but it's helped make my key light nice and bright. Okay. And then let's go ahead and look at my backlight, the hair light. Again, simple little desk lamp. And what I've gone ahead and done is point it right at the back of my head so that it outlines my hair and gives it a nice glow. And then I've just kind of taken this simple, you know, floor lamp and moved it into a spot that I look nice. And then I open up the window so that I would have this really nice, cool blue contrast. And then I turned off this practical light that was overhead and it just had this horrible orange glow. Uh, you know, it was just way too warm for the scene. So I turned that off. And honestly, guys, that was just so simple. Now I'm gonna show you guys what it would have looked like if I hadn't adjusted any lighting in here. And maybe I just set up the camera and just said, who cares, I don't care. Let's just look at it, how it looks. And honestly, it's going to look pretty crappy. And a lot of people make that mistake. If you weren't thinking about lighting or anything like that, and you're just like, I'm just going to set up the camera and start filming my next YouTube video or a scene for my short film or something, probably looks something like this, pretty crappy. There's no good key light. We have mixed color temperatures. You can see that's really warm back there on the wall. And then kind of cool color temperature here. And you now the hair light, anything like that. It just looks so flat. It doesn't look good or cinematic at all. So already you can tell, not about the camera and the equipment always. Sometimes it's not even about the big expensive lights. You can just use the available practical lights around you. Just take some thought and do something that looks really, really good. Boom, back to the better lighting setup. It just takes a little bit of thought and you can make something look so much more cinematic and a better image without all the fancy lights and gear and cameras and everything like that. So hit the subscribe button right now, guys. I have so many more videos coming out on shooting, lighting, editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.